What is going on everybody? My name is Northy and today, finally, we have some Footy Stars 2022. Now, I will quickly point out that this was not the plan to open up the Jumbo box first. However, uh, my order from Select has actually shown up later to my order from uh, Cherry Collectibles. So, uh, I ordered two boxes from them of Jumbo packs in case I couldn't get any from the general sale. Uh, and I eventually was able to get some, however, these ones showed up as well, and they've actually showed up first. So, today, we are going to be opening ourselves up some Footy Stars 2022 Jumbo Packs. Now, if you guys remember from all the news that I was talking about before we got into the Jumbo Pack, or even just the season in general for Footy Stars, uh, I had mentioned that Jumbo Packs were different, and they came in 18 card, 18 packs. Uh, that's what we get in the box. It's only the 18 packs, but again, 18 cards per pack, up to two different inserts, which is really, really exciting. And just about all the regular stuff you'd expect from a uh, regular box of footy stars, except from what I've seen, it does not have the predictors, um, nor does it have the, uh, like anything from Brownlow, sorry, to Coleman to Premiership, nothing like that's in there. Um, I'm pretty sure you can't get regular marquees. You have to get the signature redemption ones. And you cannot get Spectrum 1, 2, or 3 in this one. You can, though, get 4 and 5. Uh, those are the ones you look out for in the Jumbo Packs. However, uh, it comes with its own set of awesome box hits. A uh, whole bunch of stuff we can look forward to. And this is one of two. We have so much to look forward to over the next week. I'm hoping my select order shows up soon. But for now, we've just got this one and two Jumbo Pack. The second one... I am saving for a big old live stream. So hopefully we can open up a regular Footy Stars box for a video. And then as soon as that video is up, I'm going to try and start a live stream as soon as possible. Open up another box and, and uh, of both Jumbo and regular Footy Stars. Because I would like to try and earn myself just a regular North Melbourne uh, Virtuoso if possible. A Virtuoso in itself would be great. Predictors are also really, really good. A lot that we can look forward to in these Jumbo packs. And I'm super excited to start properly collecting. So... Best of luck to myself here, because I need the most amount of luck I can possibly get with a jumbo pack. Because, obviously, the big hit is the Virtuoso Signature Redemption. But uh, any support, like, comments, subscriptions, always very, very much appreciated. I'm hoping you guys enjoy what you see here today. The box is a bit banged up compared to the one you saw in the thumbnail. I use the other one because it looks much nicer. This one is the banged up one, and I want to use that box again. For the live stream thumbnail, so we'll open that one up on stream. But nonetheless, we now get into Footy Stars 2022. I could use it. You know what? I am going to use scissors. <laughs> I don't know why I expected that to go well for me. There we are. Beautiful. I don't have any fancy gear or anything like that to slice anything like knives or anything that could be helpful. But uh, I do have an old handy scissors and uh, they always do the trick. So... Select Footy Stars 2022, my first ever box in general of Footy Stars 2022. However, we're starting off with Jumbo, the big old Jumbo. So hopefully this goes well for us. Let's break the seal here with our very, very fancy knife, aka scissors of the century. I was trying to think of a word there <laughs> to describe it, but the scissors of the century break through. And let's see how thick these packs are because I've opened 18 packs before. Sorry, um, nine packs before, nine card packs before. Man, English is hard, but 18 packs. Oh, they're thick. They're big, bad. We love the look of these. Look at this. Look how much there is in one pack. Oh, they're massive. I'm really, really excited to open these up. Only 18, as I mentioned before. However, you still get the same amount of cards, still get the same amount of joy. And uh, we will be going a little slow to start. However, I also need to mention that because there's a lot of base in here, we're not going to be taking our time with each pack, going through them all. Because there's a lot to get through. But um, actually, before I open it, let's just hopefully look at the uh, checklist. The things we can get. So hopefully that's a bit better for you. We've got Common Parallel Sunset right there. We've got ourselves the Starburst Character Chart. In this one, it's ice instead of the paint in the regular footy stars. We've got Game Breakers, Forward 50, which is also in the, in the regular ones. Milestone, same thing. We've got Blank Canvas, which is a 1 per 9 pack card. Really excited to see what those look like. Fractured Acid Yellow are 1 per 14, meaning there's a potential for two of them in a box. Same goes with Numbers Midnight. There are 1 per 16, so a little bit less of a chance that there are uh, two in a box. However, there's a possibility. We've got the Competition card, which is, again, 1 per box. Those are actually 1 per box as well, 1 per 18. Then we've got the Spectrum Redemption, which is the one above 
A box hit, uh, one per 108, I think that says. A spectrum Redemption, one per 108, and then obviously, the Virtuoso Signature Redemption is the big one. One per 1,296. So hopefully, that gives you an idea as to what we're dealing with with Footy Stars Jumbo. Not as many chances to pull above box hits, but for sure, a really, really exciting chance to uh, get something massive. So let's see what we can do here today. Hopefully, we can have some fun. My first look at Footy Stars 2022. I am yet to get these in my hands. So I'm really, really excited to see what we can do here today. You can see here, this is the base. Joel Selwood looking really, really nice right there. I'll quickly show you the back as well. You guys have probably seen a fair bit of this. I'm sure you're all kept up to date with what the card's looking like. I wish I could have done this earlier to feel a bit more, you know, justified going this far in depth. But you can see here all the statistics that they managed to get are done in pie charts with what looks like the meters out being, you know, the ranking or how good they were for the season. I'm not too sure. But we've got ourselves their regular statistics such as games and goals, uh, their height and birthday, everything like that on the back. But uh, those are what the commons are looking like today. Uh, with the 30 year uh, sticker also on them. But we've also got ourselves here the female, the women's common cards as well. Looking much better I think than 2021. However, 2021 was pretty good as well. But these look really, really clean. I like the look of these for sure. Very, very excited. We've got ourselves a Luke Ryan in here as well. A Dusty Common, which will be nice. Madison Chris Parkus. I'm interested to see how many commons we've got to go through to get to our cards. Rory Sloan. Anthony McDonald, Tip and Woody. Darcy Byrne Jones. Jake Lloyd. Oh my. Oh, here we go. Already starting off strong with the Fractured Arc. Oh no, not Arctic Blue. It's Acid Yellow. They both start with A. But this is our very first insert. And wow, look at that. That's beautiful. Really, really good there. And then a Game Breakers forward 50 there as well. Oh, wow. I like the look of the uh, Fractured. Looking really, really nice. Game Breakers, of course. They are not uh, numbered, however. Good to get our first cards. How many cards do I have to go through to get to our first insert? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So a full pack before we even get to our inserts. But you saw that we got two of them. Stephen Canelio is our very first insert. He is also numbered 137 of 145. Nothing special there. I even got myself some new sleeves to uh, get excited about the new release. Um, these sleeves and a bunch of top loaders were delivered separately to my big old footy stars order. So the fact that I managed to get those and not the actual packs is kind of depressing. But nonetheless, we keep moving. There's a potential to get a second one there. But Stephen Canelio is not the worst one to start with. Put these commons over here. And that's one of 18 already completed. Let's get to number two. Excited to see what we can get here today. Hopefully some big, big pulls. Interested to see what blank canvas looks like. Um, hoping to see some uh, an above box hit. Maybe a Spectrum Redemption. I'm praying for one. That'd be really, really nice. But we've got Rory Sloan to start. Ali Anderson. Gary Rowan. Harry Perryman. Caleb Sorong. Katie Brennan. Sammy Walsh. Jake Lloyd, and not yet, Luke Bruce. Oh my god, there's so many. <laughs> Andrew McGrath. Numbers! Okay, this one's going to be really, really nice. We got ourselves the box break version of the numbers uh, insert that everyone really liked. It's Will Powell. Interesting. Gold Coast Suns. Probably not the best pull I could have gotten, but the one behind it is a Sunset Parallel Sean Darcy. Really want to try and collect as many of these parallels as possible. So I will put him in this one. But Numbers Midlight looks really, really nice. The shine on the card in person is amazing. I love the look of that. And then our number is 47. Damn. Imagine it being a 27. Ooh, very, very close. A couple of numbers off and we would have had it. But nonetheless, a big one. Very, very nice. I like the number set. I think it, it introduces um, a lot more excitement to jumper numbers and stuff like that. Gives people a lot more to be excited about. Um, and also, just the fact that these inserts are quite reusable. I think we may see a lot of these inserts again. And I don't imagine that something like numbers could show up once more. Because the numbers one looks to be really, 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 really exciting. And I think Woody Star kind of knows that that is a pretty big one but a nice midnight version of the uh insert there gonna go a bit quicker now 
kind of just going to slowly start speeding up through this because there's a lot of common to get through. A hell of a lot of common to get through. But I do want to slow up once we get close. Get ourselves here. Red milestone game. They, the milestone look really, really nice. I do like the look of the milestone. Round 1 of 2021. 100 games for George Hewitt. But they're so shiny. They almost look like they're the big... <laughs> they're like a massive hit. But nothing there. And then another forward 50, Charlie Dixon. Beautiful stuff there. Chuck them into the regular inserts pile. Nothing too crazy there. But yeah, you will find very quickly with jumbo packs, they are definitely made to be like the hobby version of uh, footy stars. Uh, but I'm not too certain just how like hobby exclusive they are, if you kind of understand what I mean. I don't really think they're that good. I just realized I knocked my camera. But I don't think they're that good. Um, compared to what you kind of expect from most hobby boxes. Maybe that's just me being, you know, addicted to uh, NBA cards at the moment. Because I do really like the NBA cards. But I'm not too sure how I feel about it. I'm not terribly sure. But we've got Daniel Rich, Ebony Mariner, Amy McDonald, Tim Taranto, Kiara Bowers. Lots of um, AFLW players here. Dion Prestia, Darcy Vescio, Josh Kennedy, Jager Amira. I'm getting slow because I know it's coming up. Ourselves looks like another milestone. 150, Ryan Lester. Nice. 150 milestone game, round 9, 2021. And here we go. Our first Ice Starburst. I'm um, surprised we haven't seen more of these. But uh, third or fourth pack in, we get our first Ice Starburst. Lucky shorts. Nice work there. But there's just an awful lot of commons that like aren't exclusive to um, the Jumbo Pack. And I think usually with Hobby Boxes, you at least get some kind of... Ex Exclusive to to it with the common version. Maybe they're just seeing that as the um, 30th anniversary seal. But I definitely think there was there's room for improvement. There's definitely room for improvement. And I'm not I'm not even certain it's guaranteed you get two inserts in a box. I'm not even oh, sorry in a pack. I'm not even sure it's guaranteed. But uh, nonetheless, really excited to see our first 30th anniversary seal. Maybe it's even in this pack. Let's check it out. We got ourselves Dan Rampy. Ben McAvoy, Game Breakers, a nice little Ben King, unfortunately out for the season, I'd imagine, with that ACL injury, and then we got ourselves another Sunset Parallel, Maxi Gorn, that's a really nice one to get, Max Gorn looking beautiful there, very, very shiny, loving the look of this, and of course, they are not numbered, they are just regular um, inserts, basically just base set, but um, a bit more rare, still very, very exciting, um, Again, one of the biggest questions I had with uh, Footy Stars, sorry, gotta, I keep got to move this because my camera for some reason is just tripping up on everything, but we get into the next one and yeah, still yet to see our first 30, 30 30th anniversary seal. Oh man, I'm just too excited. I'm, I'm going too fast. I'm going way too fast here, but we got ourselves a Robbie Gray, Josh Kennedy, Jaeger Amira, and then, oh, here we go. This one's a very, very exciting one. Our first insert of this kind. It is blank canvas. Zach Merritt. I already know someone who wants who wants a Zach Merritt card. And then it is just the one insert here. So yeah, that's what I mean. Sometimes it's hard to kind of tell where exactly you're going to find your two insert and one insert packs. I'm not sure how many people are stressed, but Zach Merritt, beautiful stuff there. Numbered 131 of 250. Not anything special, but... They are actually really, really nice in person. I did have my criticisms to start. Like, if this was the box hit, I was going to be kind of disappointed. Because I think it's quite plain for a box hit. However, it is a really, really nice looking card. Definitely worth sleeving up. Uh, Zach Merritt looking really, really nice there. Uh, but that, as you saw, was our first um, one insert pack. Obviously, it was a blank canvas, so there's not much we can stress too much about. But... I'm sure a lot of people are hoping for more than just that when they do get there. But Brody Smith, Emily Bates, Tom Stewart, Cora Staunton, I think that's one, yes. Uh, Michael Walters, Monique Conti, Jacob Wiedering. I nearly had a, I nearly freaked out for a second there. I thought I wasn't recording any of that. Oh, that was too scary, but footy stars right there. Zach Merritt again, Xavier Dersma, our forward 50 game breaker is Eric Hipwood. Nice looking Eric Hipwood there. Oh man, I'm. <laughs> I freaked out hard. I freaked out really hard. But um, Ben Keys there. There's our sunset parallel. It looks like if you are getting yourselves to insert, or if you're getting yourself a weak insert, 
uh, as I guess I can call them weak inserts. I'm not too sure whether you would call them weak inserts or not, but when you get the regular ones, like ones you see in Footy Stars, then there's kind of a more there's a higher chance that you get a second insert with it. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm kind of deducing, deducing so far, even though it wasn't the same with uh, Midnight and the Fraction. That blank canvas had no second insert, so I'm interested to see. Oh, here we go, though. I've just seen what the insert is, and we've doubled up here. We've doubled up. Sean Darcy, Jack Graham, Adam Saad, Shane McAdam, Jared Lyons, Mitch Duncan, Nick Haynes, Nick Cox, Aaliyah Aaliyah, Errol Golden, and here we go, Nick Hind from the Essendon Football Club. We have doubled up. We've gotten ourselves a second fraction. Uh, these ones, pretty rare. And then an Oscar Allen starburst behind it. So, you can see there, Fraction, for some reason, every time has got had a second insert behind it. But Nick Hind there, really, really nice looking. You can see the nice effects that it has on the card. But we check the back, 48 of 145. Not too bad right there. Uh, I'm going to sleeve that bad boy up. But yeah, you see right there, it was one in every 14, I believe, for Fraction. Let me just double check. Uh, fractured, it is a one per 14 packs. And so we managed to hit the second one. And that's a pretty cool little hit right there. Hopefully uh, we can still find ourselves a Spectrum in here, but nonetheless, a pretty decent pull. Really, really happy with a second fraction. Um, I'm not sure whether it's always guaranteed you're gonna find yourself a second big insert because of the pack odds being like one per 16, one per 14. Gives you the chance for two. I'm not sure whether it's always going to be the case, but nonetheless, really, really happy with that. We've got ourselves Josh Kelly here, Alex Pierce, Tom Lynch, Jack Silvani, Lachlan Scholl, Lockie Neal, Travis Boak, Oliver Florent, Mitch Lewis, blank canvas, Scotty Lysette. Woo! There's our second one of the box, and then our sunset parallel is Shannon Hearn. Nice. Big star. Um, just checking the comments really quickly to make sure we're not missing out on anything. Ash Riddell, my favorite uh, WAFL player at the moment. Really, really liking that. But Scotty Life set. Again, the blank canvas looking really, really nice. I didn't realize that blank canvas actually has like a texture on the back. When I first saw them, they looked like they had nothing. But hopefully, um, with the actual look of these, you can tell there's like a little pattern here. It's like a little bit of stitching almost. But nonetheless, a really nice card. 246 of 250. Nothing special with the number there. Close to 250, but yeah, nothing there. Nonetheless, we keep it moving. Um, I'm excited to see what the competition cards are going to be like, because obviously um, a lot of people have mentioned that uh, the cards are not available to be um, used. So maybe we see a competition card with like a big hit, like a big hit behind it. I'm not too sure what we got to look for there, but nonetheless, really excited to see what that brings. We've got Ali Anderson to start this one. Rowan, Perryman, Sarong, Brennan, Walsh, Bruce, McGrath, Gray. Forward 50, Max King. We've got both the Kings in this video. Max King and Ben King in this one. And here we go. We've got ourselves a Sunset Parallel AFLW player. About time, about time. But still yet to see ourselves with a... 30th anniversary seal card unless I've completely missed it which I really hope isn't the case but um I believe there's on average three per box so we still got all three to look for which is really really cool the fact that we've still got so much to look forward to already and we're quite far into the box uh Nat Fife uh Lambert Mackay O'Brien Pekogage Guthrie Gunston Ugh. no we don't need the Cummins pile falling <laughs> No, thank you. Gunston, Heppel, Butters. Here we go. James Rowbottom, Starburst Ice. Nice looking one there. And another Sunset Parallel, Caleb Daniel. Nice little Caleb Daniel right there. Good stuff. Add that to the regular inserts. Any 30th anniversary? I, I'm pretty sure they're, in, they're like an insert. They're supposed to be an insert. And I don't know whether they're actually in Footy Stars Jumbo Packs or oh, not anymore. I can't tell, but nonetheless. Um, we should still be looking out for him, making sure we're not missing anything. We've got ourselves Aaron Phillips to start this one. Robinson, Meg McDonald, Ward, H Horton, Rewald, Heaney, Liam Shields, Darcy Parrish, and a milestone of Jack Sinclair, round two, 2021, 100 games. Congratulations, my man. 
and a game breakers Jamie Cripps. Two regular inserts here, nothing stressful. I'm still unsure. Like, where are my seals? Where'd they go? Have I missed them? I really hope I haven't missed them. Because I still I'm still waiting on three, and they said there's three per box. So either we're about to get an onslaught of 30th anniversary seals. The minute we see one, we'll know there's two more coming. But if we don't see any, it means there's none in these boxes, which would which would kind of suck. <laughs> don't get me wrong. But we've got Jacob Hopper here, David Mundick, Nick Vloston, Jack Martin, James Rowe, Oscar McInerney, Tom Hawkins, Lance. Ooh, almost again, Lance Franklin. Will Day. No seal just yet. Nick Hind again. Milestone. 200 games for Brad Shepard. That's our first gold, it looks like. I think the one after gold is platinum. And then... There we are! I knew there had to be a seal somewhere. And there's our first one. Karen Harrington. 30th anniversary seal. I knew there had to be one. I just couldn't find one. I don't know what was up with that. But there we are, finally. Really wanted to get one of those sealed cards. Nice to see one finally. Uh, but nonetheless, we keep it moving. But So we know there's two more coming. Uh, 200 milestones and a 30 seal is very, very nice. And we are surprisingly close to the end of this box. Like, way too close almost. <laughs> I'm really, really excited to see if there's anything else. Karen Harrington again. This, the regular one this time. Uh, we've got Tex. Lutkins. Tui. Eva. Wilson. Dixon, Mills, Wingard, and another Starburst, Noah Anderson, Starburst Ice, and a Sunset Parallel. Yes! <laughs> yes, that's all I wanted. I wanted some North cards. I'm trying my hardest to complete as many North collections as I can. So getting them now is going to be very helpful. It's going to be very, very helpful. Saves me having to buy extra cards here and there, but nonetheless, very happy with that. Very, very happy. Um, not sure if we'll see a Spectrum in here at any point, <laughs> or a Virtuoso. We'd be very, very lucky to get one and clutch it up, but uh, I don't imagine it'll happen at this point. Smith, Bates, Stewart, Staunton, Walters, Conti, that's the regular card, <laughs> Merritt, Dersma, another Starburst Ice, Tom Green, nice little Starburst, and a Sunset Parallel, Lee Lear. That's not a bad one. That is not a bad one at all. Quick double check to make sure I'm not missing any 30th anniversary seals. And we're all good. We have three packs left and two of them have to be the 30th anniversary seals. So that really limits our chances of it being too great to finish it off. But uh, nonetheless, we'll be all right. We got plenty of boxes. We got plenty of them. We got Ellie McKenzie, Williams, Randall, Zorko, Morrison, Whitfield, Miller, Redman, Wines, nice to see your Wines in here, Papley, Starburst Ice again, yes, give me all the North cards, give them all to me baby, Cameron Zerha, and this looks like a one insert pack, okay, wow, I thought that was going to be a 30th anniversary seal, it would have been nice to be on Nick Nat too, that's unfortunate, that's very very unfortunate, but two packs left meaning they have to have, I believe there's three per box, yeah, so they have to have the um, 30th anniversary seals. Does kind of suck here that uh, we didn't manage to pull ourselves anything above the box, but nonetheless, we are still absolutely over the world, over the moon, to be able to open up some of these packs, and hopefully I can keep these cards safe while I wait for my, uh, whatchamacallit, my albums to arrive. But we've got Shields, Parish, Instant Win, there we are, we got our Instant Win. Meaning, there's our seal, and it is Tim English. We got our instant win card here. I remembered that was one of our box hits. But uh, you can see here, we got the scratch code. Um, it's going to be open on the 15th, I believe. Uh, that's when we can actually put in the codes. It says here, the competition will commence at 9am on March 1st. But the problem is that uh, we don't have anything. <laughs> we don't have anything we can put it into. So I believe they mentioned it was the 15th that that was going to come out. But Tim English, good to see another 50th anniversary. Oh, 50th? 30th anniversary seal. Not quite 50. We'll get there soon. Don't worry. <laughs> we'll get there. But uh, last pack, very, very last pack of Jumbo Footy Stars. Our very first box. Let's finish it off strong, yeah? Let's have a f strong finish. Lots of North Melbourne cards. Lots of really, really nice inserts that we're super excited about. And uh, hopefully, in our regular Footy Stars box, we can get some big stuff too. So we've got Shea, 
Jones, Laird, Andrews, Dangerfield, Canelio, Aish, Warpel, Shield, Rosie. Ooh, Errol Golden. There's our third 30th anniversary card. And a Sunset Parallel, Luke Bruce. Not a bad way to t finish it off. Three straight um, 30th anniversary cards is our big hits. I'm calling them big hits because you only get three per box. All the others you kind of get regularly. But you can see here, you still get a fair few inserts. Um, a lot here to be really happy about. Lots of Sunset Parallels to add to my collection that I'm going to be putting away. That LDU is super helpful. Um, I believe that Zohar right here, again, really helpful. Um, and then all the rest we can either use as trading material to get ourselves more North cards, or we can put them away in our own collection for a bigger one. But nonetheless, really, really happy with how that turned out. Um, obviously, we had our competition card, but I'm not going to add that in the big hits. We look right here. Three straight 30th anniversary cards to finish it all off. We had um, the Karen Harrington 30th anniversary seal, Team English 30th anniversary seal, and Errol Golden as well. All three of those coming near the end. But we got ourselves a lot of nice inserts. We got Scotty Lysette, one of two blank canvases, numbered to 246. Then we got ourselves Nick Hind. He was really, really good to see, numbered to 40, numbered 48. Um, we had our first blank canvas, Zach Merritt, numbered 131. Uh, our big, big midnight pull, the only one hit card apart from the box hit. Um, instant win was this midnight uh, numbers card 47 of 130 and to our very first pack we managed to get the Stephen Canelio GWS Giant Fractured Acid Yellow numbered 137 so some really really nice cards here um, overall jumbo box a little bit underwhelming I think personally a little bit underwhelming but nonetheless there's potential and you have to be very very lucky but there's potential for a lot to come out of these jumbo packs if you get a good box, obviously, uh, you obviously want to try your best to get as best of uh, pack and a best of box of, as you can. But nonetheless, really, really happy with how it all turned out. Lots to add to the collection. Lots of comments that I'm going to um, chuck into a book when I've got some spare time because I need those books to show up. I need everything to show up in terms of the big select order I was talking about earlier. But that is all 18 packs of Footy Stars Jumbo opened. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Be sure to like it up. If you want to see more, I'm going to try and get that regular Footy Stars box as soon as possible if I can. And uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you can as well. I'd appreciate every single bit of support. Just recently hit 300 subscribers, so I thank you all for that. But let's see how we go for the season 2022. Off to a very fun start. Let's hope that it can continue. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.